The new legislation is due to come into force from July this year. The extent of the changes means that a phased approach to introducing the new measures in practice is realistic over a transition period. The first priority is to introduce the changes which strengthen public health protection and these will come in from this summer. For example, the first meeting of the new Pharmacovigilance Risk Assessment Committee will be held in July. The second priority will be to bring into practice the changes delivering greater transparency and openness, such as placing a range of information on drug safety on European medicines web portals. The third priority is to implement the efficiency measures, such as the changes to the functionality of the Central European Database, UDRA Vigilance. These may take up until 2015 to be fully up and running.